my team, we work chiefly on spin centers in crystals. Spin centers are defects or impurities within the crystals that have quantum properties that can be used for either quantum sensing or quantum communication or quantum information processing directly. So one of the interesting aspects of this application is that we can use these spin centers to generate larger entangled states and creating these entangled states definitely is a path towards learning more about how entanglement um, plays a role in everyday life as such. So creating larger and larger entangled states will eventually teach us whether there are limits to the size of entangled states that you can build. So finding such a limit would be an interesting uh, outcome of the research in itself. And also then going towards uh, applications, the quantum uh, information processing and communication methods that could come out um, of this work will rely strongly on finding the mechanisms that limit the size of entangled states that you create. So one of our favorite defects is the nitrogen vacancy center in Diamond and that has extremely promising applications in sensing. You can use it to measure magnetic fields with extremely high resolution both in terms of the magnitude of the magnetic field but also in terms of the spatial resolution of the features of the field. So one of the very um, particular aspects of this defect is that it can survive in extremely small crystals. It can be functional in nanocrystals down to a few nanometers in size. And that means that you can make a scanning probe that can resolve magnetic field features on that scale. What we would like to do is to build a scanning sensor that has a larger surface um, but contains many of these defects and allows you to make a scanning probe array. And in this way you could, for example, scan for computer chips that have many millions of uh, units and many uh, current carrying tracks. And in doing so, you could contemplate improving uh, computer chips by improving their performance, by finding what the limiting locations are.